Pepper was at Glendale Humane for close to a year. She was one of the most stressed dogs I'd ever met. She was so afraid and so cautious and so just freaked out that she would constantly drool and she was matted from her chin down to her chest from just being stressed all the time and just water and that was not very a uh, good way to show to people. When people would come by her kennel run, she would bark, 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 bark at them and then run into her little bedroom area and hide from them. And she never gave people a chance to get to know her. Eventually, what they did was they moved her upstairs to a room which was, it was like a living room and she improved greatly. She still would bark at people that she didn't know, but she did so much better upstairs. She would go downstairs, she would go for a walk. Now, oftentimes she wouldn't walk because she was so freaked out that you could get her on the leash, you could get her downstairs, and she would get to the, near the door where she was gonna go out and she would sit down and she wouldn't go any further. She would not move. You either had to force her or you had to take her back. She finally got to the point where she was comfortable upstairs and people would walk in and, you know, because that's where the treats are kept for the dogs in the refrigerator. And eventually it was, let's try her with another dog. And there's a dog named Vegas, who's a beagle mix. And they seemed to get along, so they put him upstairs with her. And they bonded so closely. And they would just have the best time. They loved each other so much. It was great for both of them. They were so happy. And when circumstances dictated that the dogs had to be moved from upstairs, they had to go back and do a kennel run, and they were putting a kennel run together. But Pepper started getting super stressed again and going back to salivating all the time and not showing well. And she also made it hard for, for people to look at Vegas because she'd be barking and running into her room and running out and barking again, and people didn't even see Vegas because she was so busy being stressed. I think probably one of the main reasons that, that Pepper was so stressed living in a kennel run was because of all the other dogs around. There was a lot of barking and a lot of activity with dogs being taken out of their runs and people walking through uh, to look at dogs and everything. So Pepper being shy, I think it stressed her more being down there with the other dogs. Some dogs kennel better than other dogs, and Pepper just didn't kennel well at all. There's dogs that live in the kennel runs for a long time, and they do okay. And then there's dogs that just get very stressed very quickly, and she was one of them. The minute I pulled the car into my backyard and got home with Pepper in the car. She looked out, her eyes got huge, her mouth opened. She was like, if she was a person, it would be, oh my God, what is this? She jumped out of the car. She very slowly walked around the yard, checking out everything. She was so happy. I mean, she wasn't, she wasn't like running around like a crazy little girl. She was like savoring every second of walking around outside free in grass. And, you know, I mean, it's quite different than just going for a walk. She has quickly learned how to use the dog door. She's like she's been lived here forever. She immediately just transitioned into a, an amazing little dog to live with. This is her home, and she knows it's her home. When I had my first dinner 
you know, when she was when she was with me, she jumped up to say, "What's that? What's that? What's that?" And I said, "Down." She got down and never bothered me again while I was eating. She loves going for walks now. This is a dog who would not walk more than five steps without sitting. She loves going for walks. She waits by the front door for them. She's just so at home here. And she's up later at night, you know, than she was at the kennel. But it's very common for a dog when they first go home to sleep a lot because there's not all that, you know, there's all that barking from other dogs in the kennel. And in the home, there's not. And the quiet, she just laid down and slept a lot. And a lot of times dogs don't eat when they first come home. But she ate and she went outside to do her business. Turns out that she has not had one accident in the house, which is amazing. She's just so, it's like she's lived here, like I said, forever. And she's comfortable. She learns quickly. She's smart. I leave her and she's okay with me gone. I haven't heard anything from my neighbors about her barking a lot with me gone or um, having separation anxiety things. Nothing's been chewed up. She's just a perfect little angel. She's just a fabulous little, little dog that just loves being here. I've noticed with other rescue dogs, and I noticed this with her, she knows. She knows that she was rescued, and she's so grateful, and she's so happy. I'm absolutely amazed at how well she's adjusted to being in a home, to how well she takes commands, Sit. to the love she gives me, and the companionship, and the joy. Pure joy being with this dog. She's, she's so full of love that she couldn't express for so long, and now she's free to express it. And I love her very much. Eight.